Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make millions of coins on consumables throughout the rest of this FIFA. We already have almost 5 million coins again and this amazing team um, and these methods are going to help you make coins kind of passively in your club uh, without you really having to think too much, go unassigned. It's going to be pretty simple across the board. So if you do enjoy, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new let's get right into it so we're working with consumables i'm going to show you different kind of types of consumables you can check but essentially you're going to pick a couple of these you're going to get in the habit of checking their prices throughout the week and what this does it gets you in the habit of understanding what the market value of these is when you see something for a good deal that's when you pick it up so for example let's use shadows so these shadows yesterday were down to 2.8 2.9k buy now what are they up to now? Looks like they're at 3,400. Looks like they're at 3,300, but it looks like for 3,400 they sell within the hour. How about 35? 35 looks like you might be able to lazy list and get some to sell. So realistically, let's say 34 is the current one, which looks like it is. Um, if you would have picked these up at 2,800 yesterday and sold these for 3,400 today, you would have picked up hundreds of these you would be making crazy coins. So what you need to do is kind of pick some that you think you know kind of their value. So for me, we went all in on shadows when they were 20, around the the higher 2000s, all the way down to the lower 2000s. I initially got in at like 3K, 2.9 about a month ago. And then as the price slowly kept dropping, as we were learning it, we kept buying more and more. And as the price rose, I think I ended up selling at like 3K, 3.2, cause our average was down to like 2.5. But dude, they got up to 3.5 plus, and my goodness, or our average was 2.5, I mean. Uh, they got to 3.5 plus, and we would have made so many coins if we would have just waited on it. So my advice to you guys is kind of see what you can win on bed, see what prices you can win it for. Here, there's some open bids we might be able to actually throw down. If you could get these, try to pick them up. So honestly, I might start doing it where it's under 3K. I start picking up again. Um, and then we wait for the prices to drop, kind of start going all in a little bit more. The only thing is you need patience. You need to wait for these to go back up. You need to wait for them to go back down. And that can be a little difficult, but if you have extra coins laying around, that shouldn't be any problem. Now, another thing I would take a look at is position modifiers. These are very fun to use. Um, cam to center mids and the striker to center forwards are typically extinct. Um, these are gonna be hard to trade with because when they're not extinct, they're not gonna drop too much. But if you ever see these extremely low, feel free to pick them up. Um, but what you can look at is the center mid to cam. These should go for a decent amount. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start tracking the prices of these. And since they're common, I'm gonna assume they appear pretty often. Um, so if we go to 2100, 2300, looks like they're selling for 2300 within the hour. 2400 2500 boom they're selling instantly i don't this is so weird the market i feel like is so glitched you can sit here and try to snipe them too but there's probably going to be a lot of bots on them okay 2600 within the hour let's go in and let's just bid like 2200 and everything and right now you could probably make a lot of profit on these now that being said again you can use this as a trading tip along as as long, oh, I can't speak today. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Actually, I can't speak every day. Um, you can use this as a trading tip as well as an investment tip. So if you want to get in the habit of learning prices, you might want to flip some cards right away um, rather than just store everything and hope it goes up in price. That way you can make some coins in the meantime. You can reinvest in some more. That might not be the worst idea in the world. So again, I would pick a position modifier. I would look at some chem styles, see what kind of has value and kind of track it throughout the week. Another thing to kind of help you track is if you're doing league SBCs or opening some type of pack with consumables, get in the habit of checking prices. So for me, we do the Libertadores league SBC a lot. So with the Libertadores third team, the 70 rated, we get a jumbo gold pack. This allows me to check the prices of a lot of consumables and kind of be in the knowledge of what they're currently going for throughout the week. Another way you can do this if you're someone who doesn't do league SBCs but you want to invest is if you go to the store, 
you do your daily 7.5k pack preview. You're not always going to get a chem seller position modifier in these, but if you look at your preview, there might be something in there. Um, can we preview this right now to see what was in it? Yeah, so we have a center mid to cam here. And if we wanted to go in, we could again take a look at the center mid to cam prices. I think I was doing, were we doing the center mid to cam or were we doing center mid to CDM? We were doing center mid to cam. And as you see here, I'm getting outbid for 2400 So this dude is either investing for 2400 or he's just decided, you know, he's going to pick up at that price um, and trying to flip it. Uh, but look, as you see here, we want a shadow 2900 I could list this right now for 3500 and it should sell within the hour. So just little things like that to kind of keep an eye on throughout the rest of the year is going to make you a lot of coins. Now, again, I recommend you kind of find your own things to track. If you want to use the two I showed you, by all means, feel free to use them. Um, but I just kind of showed you a random position modifier and how I would look for it. Um, the shadow, that's kind of my go-to for chem style. I don't know what other chem styles really have too much value. If we look at Hunter, what are Hunters going for? Actually, you know what? Goalkeeper basics. What are these at? Aren't these like extinct? They're like 4K, jeez. They're all over the place, man. I feel like you could get some good snipes on these or honestly like get these quite often in packs and not even realize they have value. Yeah, 3,300 within the hour, let's see. If we do 2,700 bids? Nope, looks like there's too much time in between. But yeah, dudes, keep an eye on this stuff. It's going to be something that we're going to use a lot more because I don't want to kind of go unassigned when I do my trading for the rest of the year. I want to be able to keep doing League SBCs and stuff. Um, we're still flipping a lot of League SBC cards. If you're wondering kind of what trading methods we're doing now. Uh, but yeah, if that sounds appealing to you, being able to store kind of unlimited stuff in your club rather than having to go unassigned on a bunch of players, um, consumable route might be for you. However, you got to be fine waiting the time it takes. Sometimes prices might be down for a week or so, maybe two weeks. And then after two weeks, you sell everything on and you make a huge profit. You also have the ability to as well to make a loss. If you're not understanding the prices or if prices just drop out of nowhere, you could be out of coins too. So there's obviously a risk to it. Um, but the more you research them, the more you kind of understand what causes them to go up and down, whether it's promo packs, whether it's um, an influx of just like a daily SBC, certain cards on the market, that sort of thing. Maybe a new player SBC came out and you need a certain position change or people are rocking a certain chem style on it. Those are the things to keep in mind when it comes to kind of investing in general and making sure that you're having your coins work for you. Um, what do our consumables look like right now? Speaking about consumables, I have so many, we have some shadows, I guess. Um, I have so many contracts we have yet to sell on. So many position changes I've yet to sell on. Camus Center Med. Oh yeah, GG. I think the rest might be untradeable. Yeah. Yeah, dudes, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, I know I didn't show you too much, quote unquote, trading this video. Um, but I'm telling you, dude, these investments are going to be huge. We're already making some coins on them, but I can't wait to start investing and really start having these coins multiply. Take that 5 million Maybe turn into 10 million plus again. That would be awesome. We got the 10 million already this year. If we could get the 10, 10 million plus and really have our coins work for us as we keep making our team better and better, that would be the best thing ever. Yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. It's been your boy Mumble Elite, and I'm out. God bless.